Sophia, my father has purchased a bat for me online. I was thinking of seeing that shopping website. Yes, Romy, they are programmed by using HTML. HTML? What is HTML? Please tell me about this. Okay, Romy, let us learn about HTML in this chapter. The internet has become a vast source of information available to people all over the world. It is a network of millions of computers that are connected with each other to share information as well as resources. This information is stored in the form of websites which consist of web pages. WWW World Wide Web is a collection of millions of websites and web pages available on a public platform like the Internet. There are many different websites like www.google.co.in, www.gmail.com, www.flipkart.com, using which we can communicate with anyone in the world, access information on any topic do tasks like online shopping, playing games, watching videos, etc. We visit such websites quite often. But have we ever thought, how are these websites created? Or can we make a website of our own? Well, the answer is yes. We can easily create web pages and websites using a language called HTML. HTML the hypertext markup language HTML is a computer language used for creating web pages which are displayed on World Wide Web. It is also known as a markup language or tag based language. It uses tags which instruct a web browser to display text and other content included in a web page. Let us learn about all the subparts of HTML. Hypertext the term hypertext was launched by Ted Nelson in 1965. Hypertext is the highlighted text included in the web pages that links them to one another. It is not similar to the plain text that we type in the word processor files. The plain text that is contained in a word processor file is linear as it follows a straight direction, that is, one word after another one line after another and so on. Hypertext is non-linear as it enables a viewer to move from one location to another on the same page. For example, we must have seen blue colored highlighted text such as top or bottom written in the web pages. When we click on the top or bottom, it will straight away take us to the top or bottom respectively of the web page, irrespective of the current reading location of the web page. Markup Markup means to instruct the web browser program. HTML tags are actually HTML commands that mark up or instruct a web browser how to display the page in the web browser view. For example, B this text is bold slash b here b and slash b are html tags that instruct a web browser to display this text is bold in bold characters a brief history of html sir tim berners lee is known as the main developer of the html he, along with his colleagues at CERN, an international scientific organization based in Geneva, Switzerland, developed a system for CERN researchers to use and share documents. In 1989, Berners-Lee proposed an internet-based hypertext system. Afterwards, he designed the first HTML version called HTML Tags for public use in late 1991. Since then, many different versions of HTML have been released. Features of HTML The following are the various features of HTML that make it a popular and powerful tool for creating web pages. HTML is easy to use and understand. Its tags can also be easily learned and used. HTML web pages are supported by almost all the web browsers available. 
web pages created in HTML can be viewed on any web browser. HTML is free. There is no need of any special software for HTML. HTML documents can easily be created using a text editor like Notepad. Web pages created using HTML take less time to load. It has various tags that help in creating beautiful and attractive web pages which can easily grab viewers' attention. Requirements for using HTML It is very easy to learn HTML and there is no need to install any special software to use HTML. Web pages can easily be created using an HTML editor like WordPad or Notepad. After creating web pages, one can easily view them in a web browser like Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge or Mozilla Firefox. The following are two major types of HTML editors that can be used for writing HTML pages. Text editors or word processors. VCVig editors. Text editors. Any text editor such as Notepad or a word processing program, for example, WordPad or Word, can be used to create web pages in HTML. We have to learn, remember, and use various HTML tags for creating an HTML document using a text editor. VCVig editors. VCVig, what you see is what you get editors, allow us to create web pages without writing HTML tags. It provides an inbuilt graphical user interface where we can quickly design web pages. Various examples of VCVig editors are Adobe Dreamweaver, MS Publisher, MS Web Matrix, Froala, and many more. HTML tags. We already know that to view a website or a web page, a web browser is used. HTML is a markup or tag based language. It makes use of various tags to format the content to be viewed on a web browser. HTML tags are keywords, tag names enclosed within angle braces, for example, tag name. Tags have their own properties called attributes, which define the behavior of a tag. There are two types of tags in HTML. Container tags. These tags require an opening as well as a closing tag. A tag can be closed by putting a forward slash in front of the tag name. For example, H1 is a container tag. These tags are always used in pairs as shown in the following example. H1, hello world, slash H1. Here, H1 is an opening tag and slash H1 is a closing tag. Except a few tags, most of the tags have their corresponding closing tags. Such tags which have both on and off tags are called the container tags. Empty tags. These tags don't require a closing tag. For example, BR and HR. Such tags do not enclose any data. Instead, they operate on their own. HTML elements attributes. An HTML attribute is a special property used inside a tag to specify the behavior of the tag and improve its functionality. Attributes can be used to change the default behavior of an HTML element. For example, H1 align is equal to center in double quotes. In this example, align is an attribute of H1. It indicates that the text inside the H1 tag is to be displayed in the center of a web page. Structure of an HTML document An HTML page is also known as HTML document. Every HTML document must contain certain standard HTML tags. These tags define the basic structure of a web page. The basic structure of an HTML document is as follows. HTML starting of HTML page. It marks the starting of the HTML document. Head, title, title of the web page, slash title, slash head. Head section, it contains document header related tags. Body, tags that define the content of a web page are written here, slash body. 
body section, it contains the content of the web page along with tags to format the content. Slash HTML, ending of HTML page. It marks the ending of the HTML document. An HTML document is divided into various sections. Start section, head section, body section, and end section. Start section. The start section of an HTML page contains the following tag. HTML tag. This tag is a mandatory tag that defines the document as an HTML file. It is a container tag. The web browser interprets everything between HTML and slash HTML as an HTML document. Head section. The head section contains the tags that are necessary to define the overall basic layout of an HTML document. This section includes tags that define the title of the web page to be displayed in web browser. Different tags that constitute the head section are as follows. Head tag. It is an optional tag that is also a container tag including identification and supplementary information such as the title of the document. Title tag. It is also an optional tag containing the title of a web page, which is displayed in the title bar of the browser. It is a container tag. Body section. The body section contains the text and other content included in a web page that is displayed in its browser view. This section is the mandatory section of an HTML document and it contains the following tag. Body tag. Body tag is a compulsory tag of an HTML document. This tag encloses the main content of the web page as well as different other tags that format the appearance of the web page content. Creating and saving an HTML document. To create a web page using HTML, the steps are as follows. Step 1. Open the Notepad Editor window by clicking on the Start. Go to Windows Accessories. Go to Notepad. The Notepad Editor window will open. Step 2. Type Dictionary. HTML. Hypertext Markup Language. Website. A collection of interconnected web pages. WWW World Wide Web. W3C World Wide Web Consortium. Tags. HTML commands that make the basic building blocks of a web page. Let's refresh. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. HTML is a language used for designing web pages. HTML is made up of two elements, tags and attributes. An HTML editor is a software program that enables us to easily create HTML documents. An HTML document is divided into three segments, start, head, and body. A tag is a coded HTML command that defines the structure and appearance of a web page. A web browser is a software that lets us view the output of the HTML page.